Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Wayne Lewis, and I'm here representing the Kentucky Public Charter School Association uh, this afternoon. Um, the, the Public Charter School Association here in Kentucky uh, is believed to Senator Wilson's bill is a very strong bill. Uh, we are very supportive of this bill uh, for a number of reasons. One, we believe it exhibits uh, lots of the things that we've learned from states that have gone before us in adopting charter school legislation. Uh, so it's no secret that some states have done incredibly uh, well uh, with writing very thoughtful policies, and some states have stumbled and have crafted policies that have led to uh, less than high-achieving schools being off the ground. This bill uh, would give us a great start at getting some really high-performing schools in Kentucky. A few of the, the specific areas that I would note, um, as Senator Wilson said, is the bill targets kids who are in most need of alternative educational options in our state. It's no secret that we have an astronomical achievement gap at the state level and within many of our schools. It's unbelievable. And so there needs to be um, a, a table of options on the, on the table, a table of uh, alternatives uh, on the table for, for parents and for families to choose from. This bill will give uh, some additional public school options uh, for parents and families to choose from when schools aren't doing a good job of meeting the needs of those kids. Um, the second thing is that this bill will hold charter schools in Kentucky to an incredibly high performance standard, even to the point where it would require the revocation of charters um, for schools that are persistently low achieving. The authorizers that Senator Wilson talked about with the local boards of education and this independent um, public charter commission which would have the authority to renew, to not renew, or to revoke. But the bill goes so far as to require the revocation of charters um, that are persistent and low achievement. That's a really high standard of accountability, one that we don't have for any public school in Kentucky right now. Um, one of the last things I'll mention is that Senator, bill, Senator Wilson's bill, uh, in relation to that high standard of accountability, would give the charter schools uh, the autonomy that they would need to reach those standards. So it's one thing to say to the school or to any organization, we expect you to perform at really high levels. But it's difficult to say we're going to hold you to a high level of performance, but we're also going to prescribe the way that you have to get there. This bill would give them the autonomy they need. And then for those um, around the state or in the General Assembly who are pretty wary of adopting charter school policy, um, this is a pilot um, bill. It will give you just a few charter schools and give you the opportunity to study their performance over the next five years before making the commitment to expanding and adopting a, a, a full charter school policy. So we are very supportive of this bill and really excited about the conversation um, that will continue. Thank you, Senator Wood. Thank you.